What's up everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO City set number 40582, the 4x4 Off-Road Ambulance Rescue Gift with Purchase. This LEGO set is ages 6 plus and has 162 LEGO pieces, and despite only having that many pieces, it does actually come with 3 LEGO minifigures, so I'm excited to take a look. Alright, so taking a look at everything here, I have to say it's a pretty cool set for 162 LEGO pieces. My favorite part right off the bat is the three LEGO minifigures, which we'll take a look at in a little bit more detail a little bit later on. But the first things first here, it does come with the stretcher. Uh, unfortunately, it's the newer stretcher, so it doesn't actually have anything on the bottom like some of the older versions do, which I think would have just been a little bit better for this set, but... I guess it's the newer mold, so they have to be a little bit basic about it. Obviously, it comes with the ambulance here, which we'll also take a look at. And then very briefly, uh, the scene, setting the scene here, we've got a dirt bike rider here on the end. And it looks like he's going to be riding it. Maybe he hits the tree or something like that. And he goes flying and he hurts his hand. And that's what the scene is there. And that's why we've got some off-road paramedics there. We've got the cool little dirt bike here in the navy blue. It's got some red rimmed wheels, which look really fun. And then we've got this little tree scene. It's a very basic tree. It's got a little rock on it it's got a log sticking out and some plant life there as well taking a look at the ambulance here it does have minimal piece usage which is not too bad you guys can see it does not look like an ambulance it's just traditionally red and white and blue this one is teal and black and white and this like highlighter yellow which is pretty fun it is a very tall apparatus you guys can see next to a minifigure it is almost two minifigures high about one and three quarters i would say we've got a room on the front here where you can take the the roof off and you could have one driver sit and then one of the other paramedics sitting in the back there it does come with some lights on the, the top and everything like that with the grill you know flashing lights it is off-road so it is a quite a bit taller of an apparatus uh, with some big wheels and it's got a little step up to get into the, the cab there on the front we've got a grill piece again just because it is off-road it goes through I don't like how it's like wide at the front and then kind of moves into the nose here. I think that looks really weird and I think it's a little too narrow. I would have preferred they had some calves here, like hub calves here, uh, and just keep it all one by six instead of having it one by four back here and then one by six up here. It just looks kind of weird to me. The color scheme is all right. I do like the fact that we do get that highlighter yellow. I think it's a cool new color that LEGO is beginning to include, which is a lot of fun. We have two stickers in the set on the back here. It is the uh, ambulance logo, this insignia in a teal color on white stickers there, which is cool the back here we have a door that actually opens and kind of like swings down like a tailgate again i think it's super weird that the tailgate doesn't completely cover the entire build um like it's an open air back which is kind of odd and it actually can get pushed in which is really annoying because it, you don't want it to be pushed in and now you're like fighting for your life uh to try and get it open so i wish they would have included like a stud there or something like that just so the door would shut and not shut all the way moving down there it's not even a step stool or anything like that but we do have a back where the um stretcher will go in here it just kind of like slides in there and, and then the door would shut and when the door shut it kind of protects it and then you could use the stretcher to pull it out but it's still kind of weird we've got some one by two curve tiles back here which i like that piece i think it's really cool i would have thought they would have included it maybe in like a transparent orange or yellow or something like that to represent brake lights but i guess it is kind of just there uh for the detailing like i mentioned with the uh, minifigures earlier the scene is it gets hurt on his dirt bike you put the dirt bike rider on the stretcher there and then he actually gets loaded up into this off-road ambulance he's in there he's good to go and that's where the door shuts you can remove this part of the ceiling here as well as the front cab there and like i mentioned there is room for one standing minifigure right here so you just have to position their arms a little bit different because they're not going to fit when the stretcher's in there and then the other minifigure just has to be in the seated position and not holding the walkie-talkie to be put in there. But don't worry, because the walkie-talkie can go on the side, and then once that's all in, you can easily put the roofs back on, and this apparatus is good to go. Obviously not a ton of details or anything like that that I can mention because I've basically shown you the extent of the play features. It does look the same on both sides, so it's a pretty sharp looking build and not one that I'd really put in my LEGO city just because the color schemes are a little off. I don't have an off-road section in my city. It's an actual, you know, a metropolitan area with regular looking ambulances, but it's still a cool one and I think it's pretty unique. I think it's a good gift with purchase. I think it's something, you know, that we haven't really seen before and I think LEGO did overall a pretty good job with it. You know, it's nothing to write home about, but it's out. It's not disappointing, I will say that. Taking a look at the three minifigures here, I think they are some of the coolest parts of the set. So we've talked about the dirt bike rider a little bit already, so I'm going to go with him first. As you can see there in his hands, he is holding a cool little Lego piece, which is meant to be a bandage. I like that. It actually comes with a second one in the set as an extra, uh, so you can use that for other Lego parts. I like him because I like the pants that he's wearing. They are a tan pants with some pockets on the front. 
He is wearing red athletic wear for the torso, kind of looks like a knockoff Adidas, it's got like a little mountain on it, it's got a zipper so he can ride around, it's like a little windbreaker, and then of course he's wearing a helmet, which is great addition for LEGO to include a helmet, I think the helmet's really cool, it's not the basic helmet uh, that I've seen LEGO use in the past, this is more like a specialty motorized bike one, a uh, four-wheeler helmet, which is really cool, so I'm glad it's not just the basic one that they've been using since the 80s for space, and then on the back there he does have a little bit of printing, again just looking like the Adidas logo or something like that, looks pretty sharp, but overall a cool little mini figure other than the helmet i've seen all these parts before on like the bam section and stuff like that so nothing too crazy but still cool as for the two paramedic figures, the it's actually have the exact same outfit on, um, with the exception of their face, obviously, and their hairpiece. Uh, they are wearing the sand green pants, which I like, I really like, and they've got like this very bright neon yellow uh, torsos with some teal. It really represents the same color as the ambulance. They are super bright. I actually really like these minifigures. I might not put the off-road ambulance in my Lego City, but I could definitely see myself using these Lego minifigures. You guys can see on the guy's face there, he's got a very big smile, and I really like that hair piece. I feel like if this hair piece was available a few years ago, that might have been my sig fig hair piece. I just like how it flows and it looks really sharp. Spinning them around here, you guys can just see there is a little of a back printing there. They do have the medic logo on it, which is the same one as the side of the truck. Overall, looks really cool. We've also got a female minifigure as well. She's wearing the exact same torso. Her head's got some safety glasses on, which look really cool. And then her hair piece is a hat, also in the teal color with a black ponytail sticking from the back. And you guys can also see what the back of her minifigure looks like containing the exact same Lego prints. It's funny enough that this gift with purchase is actually available at the same time at Lego stores and Lego shop online as the flower pot, the, the really cool one that has just been dominating the internet. I did a review of it a few days ago and just absolutely shocked at how well that video was received and how much people are interested in this flower pot. You only had to spend $200 to get it and I'm seeing people selling it for $50 online and that's that's a good price. People are getting a good deal. So these two gift with purchase available at the exact same time and it's just a little cool to see how much traction that one's getting compared to how much this one is. And that's a wrap, everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's set review of set number 40582, the 4x4 off-road ambulance rescue set. For a gift with purchase with only 162 pieces, I would say this set is pretty good value. Despite not being something I'd really want in my LEGO city, I feel like it's a pretty cool display piece, and I love the fact that we get some cool colors and three LEGO minifigures. Thanks again, guys, for checking out today's review. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video, only on Brick Lover 18.